Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace. So to introduce you to the basics of how swaps work, I want to tell you a little story. It's about two little boys. They've got two little toys. Stop me if you've heard this one before, but each of them has a wooden horse. Except these horses are very different. Bruce's horse has got a rocker on it, whereas Jim's horse has got these whizzy wheels, which means he can go zooming up and down hills. Unfortunately, Jim doesn't like zooming up and down hills. In fact, he doesn't like risk at all. He'd much rather just sit there on his horse and do nothing. This drives Bruce crazy because he really wants to take the risks that come with having a horse with wheels on it. So he says, let's do a swap. And you can see what's happened here. In this swap, he's taken on the risk. And Jim here has swapped risk for predictability, the risk of this whizzy ride for the predictability of the ride on the rocking horse. And it's this exchange of risk for predictability that is at the heart of all swaps in the financial system. So how does that work in the business world? Let's skip forward 20 years. We find that Jim now owns the local store and Bruce has become an investment banker. Now Jim takes out a loan at LIBOR plus 3%, which is fine except for the fact that LIBOR is a floating rate, right? It goes up and down, which means that you never really know how much interest you're going to be paying every month, right? One month it might be $2,400, next month it might be $1,900, next month it's $2,000, and this drives Jim crazy. Firstly, because he hates risk and he has no idea how high this interest rate could go, but secondly, because he loves predictability. He wants to be able to budget properly. So he goes to his friend and he says, Bruce, can you help me with this loan? And Bruce says, I tell you what, why don't we do like what we did when we were kids and swap? This is like, swap? Uh, uh. What are you talking about? So Bruce says, what we're going to do is we're going to swap your floating variable rate for a fixed rate of $2,000. You, Jim, are going to pay me $2,000. So there's the swap. Now we've got no risk here and predictability here. And Bruce says that he's now going to take on the risk of paying this LIBOR plus 3% loan, which could be who knows what every month. And it's this exchange of risk for predictability that's the heart of insurance, it's at the heart of credit default swaps, all sorts of areas of business that use a swap transaction. And you can see how it can really work out for Bruce, because he's getting $2,000 a month from Jim, but if the interest rate that he has to pay the bank is less than $2,000, he gets to pocket the difference. You do that often enough, you're making some serious money. But of course, it could work the other way. It could go, the, you know, he's taken on a big risk here the way that he took on a big risk when he uh, swapped with Jim back in the day when he took his horse, right? The fact is that this interest rate could be much more than $2,000 a month, in which case Bruce then has to make up the difference and pay the bank. If he does that often enough, he's going to be losing serious money. That's going to leave him very badly needing a drink.